Does Joe Rogan believe in dragons? Joy Behar of The View seems to think so. Let's take a look at her statements. Divided, and they aren't just here in this country. They're foreign, foreign adversaries who are infiltrating our social media because it is prudent for us to stay that way. But so I when think... you see something that really pisses you off, you should triple check that one. Yes. But I think that that's why people like our show, because they know that we are checked by abc news but we're if, checked if, by everybody yeah i mean if if we're wrong we have you know the legal note here mm -hmm. um <laughs> the human legal but the, my, in my, we went from water that was actually pretty funny that's probably the first time i've laughed at the view maybe ever cronkite mm -hmm. basically to this guy joe rogan who believes in dragons he, I checked it. He, he believes, believes in dragons? He believes in dragons. Did you triple force and, that? Yes, I did. And he also thinks that they, dragons, like I guess like dinosaur-y type, type of animals, yeah. roamed the earth when people did. So this is the type of really, really bad information that's going out well, there. Well, in defense, there are some really but good news. it's possible news. that Donald Trump did roam the earth when dinosaurs <laughs> were here. There are some. So you hear even her own co-hosts were like, did you triple check that? What are you talking about? And then... Joe Rogan here replies to this. That's my new official X description. And then if you go to Joe Rogan's page here, it says <laughs> Dragon Believer. I mean, it sounds crazy, but, but then I went and asked Grok, does Joe Rogan believe in dragons? And then I was eventually linked to this clip. Apparently this is, I, I think two days ago, uh, he said this, maybe three days ago now. Did like only in myth, but that uh, every culture has. Like dragons. Like I had this guy, Forrest Gallant. He's mm -hmm. a uh, wildlife biologist. And he thinks that there's a real possibility that dragons were an actual thing. And that... Well, when they have lived, like when dinosaurs were around? No, no. They lived alongside humans. That's why there's mm. all these records in all these different cultures. And, you know, there's um, Chinese culture has dragons. Japanese culture has dragons. Uh, ancient uh, Europeans have dragons. Like dragon is a real... Not a fire-breathing... That seems to be bullshit, but maybe even... What kind of, like, what would their purpose be? Well, they're probably like a crocodile that flies. There was probably, like, more than one kind of really dangerous reptile that they called dragons. Like Komodo dragons. Right, Komodo dragons. Giant yes, lizard, right. they called a dragon, right? Crocodiles, dragons. Mm -hmm. The question is whether or not one of them actually flew. Because we know that pterodactyls were a real thing. And if, if pterodactyls... I mean, they probably were real then. Nah. I think it's probably something like that, you know, some kind of like enormous bird type creature. I only want a dragon if it's going to like just have fire come out of its mouth. All the time. Yeah. That's so funny. it's pretty funny. I mean, he's not really saying he for sure thinks this, but I mean, I don't know. Joy Behar is only like, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't think she's necessarily 100% wrong in her statement. She's not really being charitable, but. I just, I really didn't think I was going to find a clip that quickly of Joe Rogan basically saying he might think dragons are real or he's considering it or whatever. And again, like it's hard to say exactly what is a dragon because Komodo dragons are a real thing. They're in like zoos and stuff. And there's that Komodo dragon island. Anyway, I'll finish the video here, but pretty funny story. Joy Behar, Joe Rogan and dragons.